Hey, golf fans, this is early 1981, and welcome to the last of us Seattle. This course was designed by B Bus Bry 08. Obviously, this course should need no introduction. It is a huge cult video game and now a successful TV series. But let's check the settings and the course details out. This is a par 72. Fairways and greens are soft. The green speeds are medium. Weather is overcast and the time of day is noon. Let's check out the T options. There are one T option playing 7,648 and as always pin set number one. Now thank you so much for the continued support on the channel guys. If you are enjoying the content please make sure to smash the subscribe button and leave a like. So here we are in hole in number one. Seattle is the prominent location in The Last of Us Part 2. And like I say, it's a cult classic video game, now a successful TV series, and I'm really looking forward to playing this course. Certainly looks interesting. Very tight fairway here, once again into strong winds. But there is a perfect tiny push right, but that is going to make sure we find the right hand side of the fairway. It feels like an age since I've played a theme course like this, or let alone a fantasy golf course. So when I stumbled across this, absolutely delighted to bring it to the channel. Another new designer we are showcasing. I think five iron should be good here. Oh, it's a tiny fast. We are going to find the left-hand side of the flag stick, but the greens are advertised as soft. And soft they are. It's going to leave me a 20-odd a foot putt. 16 feet, so a lot closer than I anticipated. Not a lot of movement in this putt. I would be disappointed not to convert this. Green speeds are slow, though. Now, that should hold its line. It does, and what a way to start the round. We are one under 31. I just find my game so inconsistent at the moment. It's so frustrating. But hole number two, elevated tee box. Just applying a little bit of topspin to this pitching wedge, playing the wind. That is a slight slow, and with that, I fear that's going to kick into the water. It has done. We're probably going to have to drop back on the tee box. We are. That's disappointing. Let's not aim so far right this time. Try and get closer to the perfect. That's a far better strike. The wind should comfortably bring that round, and hopefully with the top spin we have applied, this ball should run out a bit. It did run on a couple of feet. It is going to leave me a bogey putt from 12 feet out. The green speeds are 1 3. I'm not a huge fan of the slower greens in this game. Fortunately, we do manage to walk away with the bogey there. That was just damage limitation. But certainly an interesting concept for a golf course. And the designer certainly has captured the Seattle look, the environment. And I've got a feeling this is going to be so much fun to play. That's a fantastic tee shot. And that should leave me nothing more than a wedge, maybe even a pitch shot across the flooded environment. Cars and everything in play here. It really is cool. But let's pitch this. Just a little bit of deal off to ply. Try to land this at the front of the green. It's another slow. Hopefully that's got the legs to kick up with the deal off we applied. It's going to get there. It's not the shot I had planned to play. Fortunate kick, but it is going to set up a good birdie putt from 11 feet out. That should turn. It does turn. And we have made a birdie, bogey, birdie start, which gets me to one under par. Hole number four. Look at that. Fantastic detail. It really is cool. I'm certainly seeing... Areas that I can recall playing in the game itself. So laid back with the three woods here. Tiny fast, which isn't going to really hinder me at all. And I've got a feeling it's going to be another pitch shot. It is a long course. Fortunately, at the moment, the wind is with me. But it's all I seem to play. I said it in a previous video. I am getting a little bit tired of the constant high winds, whether it be in societies or just playing default here. So I'm maybe going to have to try and mix it up a little bit. But it's another great approach shot. There's nothing in this putt whatsoever. And wow, a very entertaining scorecard. Three birdies and a bogey. We are two under. 
and we move on to hole number five. This is going to be a tough tee shot with the wind moving me from left to right. I'm just going to try and play that wind, take this down the left-hand side of the rough. It's another lovely strike. We are really swinging well. My swing line seems to be getting straighter more consistently. And long may that continue. I know many players struggle to get a, a straight or straightish swing line in this game. But this is a long par five. I'm just going to have to lay up here with a tiny bit of draw. That wind is going to shape me out to the right-hand side as well. We execute the perfect. And yep, you guessed it. It's probably going to be a flop or a pitch. And hopefully we can get this one close to the pin for another birdie opportunity. I'm loving the creativity of this course so far. That should be ideal. It should find a slope and with the top spin make its way down. That could go in. Go on, turn, turn. Trying hard to turn. It's going to be a tap-in birdie. But what an interesting scorecard I am creating here. Four birdies and a bogey sees me at three under par. And I'm really excited for the next hole. It's one of these courses you just do not know what to expect next. But like I say, fantastic looking environment. Just playing this down the oh, is a fast. And that's quite a big fast. And with that 15 mile per hour wind, oh, this could be horrible. Get the bunker. That is an unlucky kick. I've got no shot here. There's a great look of the environment. The creativity from the designer is off the charts. We are just going to have to play out sideways here and take my medicine. Probably going to have to flop this, you know. It's another hole where it's just going to be damage limitation. I think I've hit two poor shots. My tee shot on the, the second, which found the water, this shot, and I've been severely punished so far. But these winds really making the course that little bit more difficult. Nine iron with full top spin. Let's hang us out there to the right hand side, play the wind, and hopefully we can get this close to the pin. It's a lovely strike. That really is a great strike. The yardage didn't take me as far as I would have liked. The wind really moving me. But it is a 34 foot pot. Tiny bit of movement in this. I'm just going right edge of the cup here. Hopefully get the weight. And hopefully we get the read. Yeah, that should drop. It's on a great line. <laughs> That's just typical of how my game's going the last few rounds. I just cannot seem to get a rub of the green. But as they say, everything evens out. So hole number seven, it's another difficult par three. This time a bigger green. 17 mile per hour wind. Six iron should be good. Oh, it's another grey fast. And it's another par three where I find a drink. Wow. Every shot or poor shot I've hit is being absolutely punished here, which I do like. So let's see if we can play a better tee shot. This time we find the perfect. This could be another hole in one. Has it got the legs to run out? Go on, go. Ah, it sat down really quickly. Why couldn't I have done that the first time? I don't think we've had a par yet. We're moving on to hole number eight. And we have not had a par. I'm back to one under par. What a messy scorecard. But hopefully it's an entertaining round for you guys. But loving the detail in each and every single hole. I think my only criticism at the moment, it's not a real criticism. It's just something for the, the designer to take note of. I just feel that a few of the holes feel and look very similar, play very similar. And I can't get across the, the water here. The heavy rough is really, really punishing. I'm going to have to punch this out. Sam Wedge, I think we can actually go up to the gap wedge here and punch this back into play. And once again, rely on my short game. But as you're seeing, my swing timing has just become so inconsistent in the last few rounds. 
I'll hit three or four really good shots in a row and then just out of the blue, I get a huge fast or slow. And on master swing difficulty, it's really going to hurt you. There's no hiding place. I'm going to have to pitch this. I'm not a huge fan of pitching it with the, the eight iron. I don't even think it's a shot I've played. So let's try it out. Just applied a lot of backspin, but I'm so in between clubs here. It's a lovely strike. Oh, the wind's just killed that. Far too much back has been applied, obviously. And I honestly believe that is my first eight iron pitch shot. I don't think I've pitched with anything other than my wedges. So lessons learned there. Like I say, it's not a really realistic shot. But when you're struggling out here like I am at the moment, needs must. Come on, turn. Suggested it would turn back a lot more than what it did. It's another bogey. I'm back to level par. This is remarkable. Hole number nine. This is a cool hole. I'm going to have to apply a lot of fade here. Cannot get a fast. It's a tiny fast. It's going to work out well. That fade and the wind combine and to take me right round the dog leg. And hopefully we can reach this green in two. But how cool is playing the Last of Us golf course on PGA Tour 2K23 next gen. Shaping this from right to left. Come on, draw, kick in. Tiny fast, but my swing line was pushed out to the right. I think that's going to run off the green. Yeah, that'll work. This one's your third. But every poor shot I've hit so far seems to have been punished by the course. Go on, get in for the eagle. Get in for the eagle. Just misses on the right-hand side. It's going to be another kick in birdie. It will get me back to under par. But this is a really fun course to play. And like I say, the environment the designer has created here is remarkable. You would easily guess where you were in the world with this location and the detail he has put into it without a title, without a course name. And I'm pretty confident everyone would guess that you were immersed into The Last of Us in the Seattle area. Hopefully we've got a fair way to work with here. Shape that shot to perfection almost off the tee box there. Just applying a little bit of deal off to this four iron. Try to run this up from the front of the green. That's a decent strike. The wind is starting to turn it round. But these crosswinds are so, so tough when you're trying to get close to the pins, but I've played that really, really well. It's going to set up another birdie. Have we had a par? Assuming I convert this, I do not think I've had a par yet, and we are on hole 10. I could well be wrong. We convert the birdie par, it gets me back to two under par, and we haven't had a par. Wow, this really is remarkable. A lot of you do prefer to see me struggle than shoot 10, 12 under par. Hole number 11, it's another interesting downhill par three. I'm going to have to apply a little bit of D-loft and backspin here. Tough shot. There we go. Oh, it's a laser beam, perfect. This should be good. This should run out as well on the soft greens. It should kick right as well, turn towards the hole. What a fantastic golf shot that is. And I feel I'm swinging well here, bar one or two poor shots, which... You're always going to have on master swing difficulty. Have we nailed that? Yeah, we have weird camera angle there. Three consecutive birdies gets me to three under par. And we move on to hole number 12. Starting to see a lot more variety in the course as well. I think I can take this on with the driver. I think I can find that middle section of fairway. Try and overpower this and get a tiny fast. Play the wind. Oh, it's a tiny slow, and I have pushed my swing line. Right. Yeah, that's in the water again. I can't recall ever playing a round like this where every poor shot has just been absolutely punished. Don't have to rely on my my scrambling skills once again. Nine iron, full top spin. Try to run this up towards the pin. That's a really good strike. That wind's held me up a little bit more than I expected it would. It's left me a putt for par. 
The greens don't offer a great challenge. There is break, but it's actually quite refreshing not to see constant red and orange grids on the greens. What a putt that is from downtown. What a par save. I think that's the first par of the round. It is remarkable. But certainly a lot more variation now to the course. Getting away from the city. Let's deal off this and apply a good bit of fade. Make sure I don't run out of fairway. I've pushed my swing line there. I really felt that. My thumb basically slipped off the analog stick there. Fortunately, it's worked out. Sweet. Can we reach this in two? Well, we certainly can. Five wood. Just going to loft this up a bit. Play for the front of the green. That's another slight fast. I think that's going to work its way up onto the dance floor, but it's going to leave me a lengthy part. Why wow, that ball really stung through the rough. We're almost pin high, to be honest. But once again, you can see there isn't a huge amount of challenge on the greens. A lot of these putts are makeable if you give them the, the time and respect. Now, that's on a really good line. Surely it turns back. Come on, ball. I advertised the last three grids would turn back. Looks different there. Should be another tap in birdie. This one's tracking. But this is a, a golf course that's going to offer something to everyone. All standards of players. And if you are a fan of The Last of Us, you will really enjoy your time out in this course. I think four iron with a little bit of backspin should be good here. Try and attack the flag stick. Just got to carry the bunker on the right hand side. Oh, that's another tiny slow. And you are seeing it when I hit a fast, I'm trying to slow my, my swing speed down and I'm hitting a tiny slow, which is just totally punished in these high winds. And from the green side sand, nice this ball is buried. It's like a fried egg, 32 to 41%. Let's deal off to it. Apply a lot of top spin and see if we can get it out there. Yeah, the lie was true. It was accurate. It just didn't come out. I'm going to have to try and make another big putt just for the par here. This would keep me at four under. When you say you're only four under through get in turn, nah, it's going to be another bogey. Through what are we, hole 14? I mean, if you were just to join the video now and see I was three under through 14, you would think, oh, Early's had a, had a bad round here. But bar two or three poor shots, which have really contributed to the bogeys and, and double bogeys. I don't think I've played bad at all. Ah, I'm going to have to lay up here. Due to the elevation drop in the wind. It's another really good strike though. Probably going to use the hole of the fairway. And it's probably going to be a wedge into this downhill green. We've got a 12 mile per hour wind behind me. But I just love the buildings. Such an authentic look here. Really enjoying my time out in this course. Delighted I stumbled across it. So this should land at the front of the green. And there is a slope that should take me all the way down. Is it going to stop though? I've played this really well. Is it going to check up? It has done. It's another fantastic golf shot. It's going to be a very makeable birdie, which I do drop. I get back to four under. Such a messy scorecard. It really, really is. Hole number 16. Let's check out the, the tee box here. Water pouring away from the, the elevated tee box. That's quite cool. Clearly a lot of thought and creativity went into making this course. It's another tight tee shot. I'm going to have to try and fade this round this tree. It's a lovely strike. Come on, ball turn. I have played some really good golf shots this round. That's going to be nothing more than a pitch shot into the center of the green. It's a very favorable pin position here. That wind is going to move me. Just going to apply a little bit of backspin to the lob wedge. 
That wind should comfortably take me from right to left. I've had a tiny slow. I don't think that's going to get there. I would have liked that to be so much closer. Just the tiniest of slows there, killing that shot. Killed the distance. That should be a birdie though. Surely that turns. It does turn. We are starting to make a few putts. I get to five under. I think that's the lowest we've been in the round so far. Hole number 17. Totally different atmosphere and environment now these last few holes. Getting out to the coast. It's a tiny fast, but I have pushed my swing line right. It's going to be a flop shot over the bunker. Up onto the green. 35 yards out. Let's apply full backspin and fully attack this. That wind should hold me up. I normally play a tiny fast on my flop shots. Or a big fast. Yeah. Yardage was good. But the short game, when you shape stuff on master swing difficulty, is so punishing if you don't have a good shot. That should turn. It's on a good line. It does turn. It's another birdie. I just, I can't write this. We've had one par. One par this entire round. We are six under. The rest of the scorecard's been littered with birdies and bogeys. But the final hole. We hit an almost laser beam perfect. This is a long par five, by the way. But I'm sure many of you guys who are more into The Last of Us than me, like I say, I've watched the series. I've played every game. I probably have failed to, to miss a few of the landmarks. We're going to have to try and overpower this freewood with a little bit of D-loft. This is a monster par five. And like I say, it just seems to be the way things are going with me. It's now on default conditions. The wind just seems always to be high making the course a lot more difficult but that's golf it would be boring if you were playing well all the time and shooting double figures under par but let's pitch this in with a little bit back oh it's another huge slope oh early my short game today on two or three shots is just not being good enough and we could well be struggling for par here i can play this long and spin it back down that slope and hopefully we can Walk away with our second bar after the round. That's a great shot. Now, that should spin. And hopefully I can convert this pin high putt. Oh, why would you believe it? Probably the toughest part of the round. This is a tough part. Would hate to finish with another bogey. It does drop for the par save. But why? What an up and down round of golf, guys. But it is a fantastic themed golf course. I really hope you did enjoy that video. If you did, please make sure to smash the like button. If you are new, hit the subscribe button. And until the next video, take care. Peace out. And love you all. Bye.